you know, you get these internet personalities. Everybody wants to put, they put on the makeup. They, I'm this, I'm that, man. And then you find them, they're on the Sugar Daddy website. And it's like, yeah, right. you are a clown. Yeah, so yeah. every time, you know, you ask a, a woman now, she's got to decide whether she wants to free bread, breadsticks and salad or you might murder her. That, like, that's the, mm-hmm. you know, that's yeah. what's on the scale. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. When you when you become the best version of yourself and you're confident about yourself, it, it it exudes in the way that you walk, in the way that you talk, in the cadence of your speech, how you sound, how you dress, how you talk. It, it just there's a comfort level, and women, you know, and this is what I don't think that um, women get enough uh, credit for. Women are super intuitive, and and one of the reasons why they're super intuitive is because. Every time a woman goes out with a with a dude, she has to mm-hmm. consider whether or not you will murder her. <laughs> wow! Yeah. Whether or not she gets what she gets, I'm not gonna say the R word because people get, but whether she gets assaulted is on, that's a consideration that she has. Yeah. So what's insane about that is they have that intuitive, and, they, and that's genetically in place because without that, they would end up dead more often than not. So yeah. every time, you know, you ask a, a woman now, she's got to decide whether she wants to free bread, breadsticks and salad or you might murder her. That, like, that's the, you know, that's yeah. what's on the scale. And and yeah. thank, thank God, God bless women that they choose the breadsticks and salad way more than they, they choose to stay home. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So when you're dope enough, the things, you know, there's whole years and years of pickup artists and all people trying to tell people how to how to get girls. But the reality is they're all and I'm not saying that those things don't work. I'm just saying um, I'm trying to teach teach dudes how to fish. You know, I'm not just going to give you a fish and and a and a and a technique that gets you laid. And then, you know, when the girl wakes up, she has buyer's remorse, because here's the thing about buyer's remorse. If you fool a woman. We're in a situation now where she can say, well, this is an awkward situation. I didn't I didn't consent. And now you are in a hell of a lot of a problem because of the fact that she she felt that you you were dishonest. And and I don't think anybody wants to be in that situation. So, um, yeah, you got to be dope, man. You got to be dope. Yeah. All right, bro. Yeah, I appreciate man. you, though. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you, Dante. Thank you. All right. You know, Mike, are we talking about being dope? Here's a, here's another funny thing. We got another call? We do. You want to take yeah, it? Yeah, let's take it. Let's take it. I'll talk about this after. Call, you're on the air. What's your name? Where are you from? Calling from South Central Los Angeles. What's going on, bro? Tell me about it, Dante Nero, baby. What's going on? L.A. coming in thick, huh? Come on, man. You already know. <laughs> yeah, man. I, 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 um, I'm 50, right? Yeah. And I'm, and I'm in my first relationship okay. ever. All right. So you know, now how um, did how did that happen? What did you do for for thirty years where you didn't have any you didn't have any relationship at all or this is the first relationship that you consider serious? Yeah, I mean I mean you know, I always got girls, you know, we got women or whatever, but I'm saying in terms of telling myself, okay, this I'm in an actual relationship. So would you, you just know, hit? You just hit it and quit it for 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 thirty years. You were just smashing and, and dashing for thirty years. Smashing, dash, hit and quit. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, you okay. Know. And what what yeah, made this what made this thing be the situation that you 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 wanted to indulge in? I mean, you know, I'm kind of um, trying to get a better perspective. Maybe it's because I'm a little older, trying right. to get a little more mature. Okay. All right. You know, and um. You know, she likes me more than I like her. That's always a good thing. <laughs> you know, so yeah, you know that's you know that's, that's kind of you know she's also the mother of my uh, my daughters. Okay. You know she was she was just somebody I was seeing, and right. then you know I just said you know what fuck it man I'm gonna just you know I'm gonna try this. You know we uh, even um all right well what's what's, did, like, come on. what's the question? I mean I, I guess I don't necessarily have a question. I'm just trying to um, make sure. She understands that she has to, you know, I, I let her know that she has to be on my program, basically. You know, because, you know, I, I've taken, like I, I, I called last week, and, you know, I kind of taken 
some of your some of your words into consideration. You know, I, I told her that as a man, I have to I have to protect her from her emotion. I have to protect me from her emotion, and I have to protect the relationship from her emotion. Absolutely, absolutely. You know? I mean, yeah. if you if this relationship is important enough, then you should you should be able to stand in the way of that. That's I mean, it's this. You know her, her, her. If she's, and I'm not saying this about all women, but if her, if her emotions are out, her emotions are out of control, um, it could be, you know, that it, her emotions could be the noise that you hear down the stairs. Go, what, what's going on downstairs? Go find out. It could be, it could, it could be the murderer of your relationship. Um, one of the things that I want to, you said that she likes you better than you like her or whatever. And I'm going to tell you yeah. this. This is something that's just. The, the ink is still wet on this, right? So this is a concept that I've been thinking about. Whenever you are the person who, um, you're the person who is less in, I, I shouldn't say less, but you said, she, well, she likes you more than you like her, right? The person that likes you more than you like her is the person that reaps the benefits from the relationship more than anybody else. And let me let me explain why. Um, uh, you have kids, right? You have kids? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You ever take your kids to the kiddie park? Yeah. So you take your kids to the kiddie park and you go on a kiddie roller coaster, right? You sit on there with them. They sit and you put your arm around them and you go around. And, and it goes up and down and whatever, whatever. But that kid has the joy of, of like, there's nothing better than that kiddie roller coaster. You feel what I'm saying? Right. But for right. you, it's it's minimal. It's there's a certain satisfaction that you get for taking your kids and knowing that they're happy. But you don't ever get that. You don't get that roller coaster feeling. You don't you don't get that 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 anticipation. So it's like when somebody likes you more, when they call you, there's an anticipation. Is he gonna call me back? Is it is he not gonna call me back? That insecurity, that 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 roller coaster ride of Oh, I wonder what he's doing. I wonder if he still cares me. And when you don't call back right away because you're busy, it's like, well, why didn't he call back? And so there's this 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 intense emotional experience that the person that likes you likes the person more feels that the person who is the recipient of that doesn't even doesn't feel it. Do you know what I'm saying? So the benefit to the person who's goofy in a race, and for lack of a better word, the goofy person in the relationship reaps the benefit of the relationship on a, on a whole different level where the person who is kind of the, the person that's taking her on that kitty ride, it, it's, you know, there's a good feeling about it because you feel righteous, because you feel as though you're doing the right thing, you're, you're a good person, and it sort of helps your self-esteem, but you don't, you don't get that roller coaster ride feeling anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, we're always talking about accountability, but there's no, no greater accountability than supporting us on the Patreon at patreon.com slash manschool202 helps us keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, that's right. Patreon.com slash manschool202. That's where we do all the bonus content for the show. Uh, we talk about a lot of game, a lot of technique, and we also archive all the old episodes starting from episode one. So if you love the show and you want to support the show, come on over and join us at Patreon.com slash manschool202. And if you can't do that, at the very least, do us a favor, like and subscribe below and tell your friends. And do all. Do all of the above. Yeah. Peace. Let's go. Yeah, and yeah, so you know, and I, and I, I intentionally, you know, when she calls, you know, I, I don't even, I don't answer the phone. I could be literally staring at a wall. Mm. You know, if, if she calls, you know, nine times out of ten, I won't even answer the phone. I'll call her back maybe 10, 15 minutes later. But let me ask you, you know, this: just, Are you are you purposely doing that, or are you are you, or is that really where you're at? You don't feel like talking at the moment. I, I think I'm doing it more purposely than anything else. I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, just, I, I don't agree with that. So I got to push back on that. Um, no problem. I'll, and I'll I'm tell you, I'll tell you why I got to push back on it because if we're talking about real sincerity and real honesty, when you want to pick up the phone, you should pick up the phone. Oh, when you when you want to pick up the phone, you should pick up the phone. But what what you don't understand, what what you got to understand is just because you're being kind, don't mean that you can't recognize when somebody is being un unappreciative. So you can be kind and still go, yeah, um, we done today. You know what I mean? I'm I'm ready to be out of this relationship yesterday, whether or not whether I love you or not. 
based on the fact that you I, I demand a certain amount of respect, you know. So I, I don't I don't believe in tactics of where you go. Oh, I'm not gonna call her back for ten minutes and let her wait. I mean, you you you. It, there's also there's an immature in that. You, there's an immaturity in that. You know what I'm saying? You're still gaming. And and I want to say this, this is something that I say all the time: is real game is no game. Yeah. It's if if you want to be like I'm a goofy dude. Like I like kissing and cuddling and hugging and eating ice cream and you know, all that shit. I love all that shit. But the minute you disrespect me, I'm like, are, are you out your your rabbit ass mind? You know what I'm saying? Like immediately. Right. So I don't have a problem switching that switching that gear if it's necessary. But I also um, am very comfortable in in being in love and liking love and being goofy and and doing those things. If you if you're if you're playing the game. Right, and I, I got to shout Patrice out for this. He, it's that uh, the old movie when um uh when it says the the you know the nuclear war, the AI takes over the nuclear war. It's the only way to win the game is not to play. Not to play. So if you're playing games, eventually somebody's going to get the worst of it, and it might, and everybody gets got. Right. And this I, you is. You know what? I won't. I won't. I won't say that I'm necessarily doing it. Um, in terms of like trying to play a game or whatever. Yeah, but, but you are. You I, just said that. That's exactly no, what no, you no. you said. I could be staring at a wall and not pick up the phone. And I asked I, you. I asked you if you are you doing it because you want to. You you don't want to pick it up or you don't want to be bothered. And you didn't say. I I, I just don't want to be bothered because it's not wanting to be bothered is different than saying yeah. I'm not gonna call her back for ten minutes because I'm not. I mean, you're playing the game. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I'm not. I, no, I, no, I understand your perspective. I get it. But it's not even my perspective. That came out of your mouth, right? No, no. I, I, no, yeah, I, I get what you're saying, but I'm saying, like, maybe in my mind, I'm not thinking about it in terms of, like, maybe it's, I think it may be more of, I don't want to be bothered than anything else. If it's that, it's that, yeah. but that's not what you're saying. Yeah. You said... You know, I, out of yeah. your mouth, right? Because I'm only. I know what I said. I get it. Okay, so you got to understand something. As I practice these principles, like I teach them, mm-hmm. so I'm honest. So I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going to blow smoke up your ass. Be- right and I don't care whether the, we on the radio or not. So if there's a discrepancy or hypocrisy in what you're saying, I'm gonna call you on it. As you should, and as a man, I, I, I can take that. You can't, and and if you can't, you're gonna have to eat it anyway. Cause I'm gonna be a man first. You feel me? Uh, and that's uh, that's not disrespectful, but that's just so uh, so. I see because I don't wanna. I'm not gonna put on the makeup. You know, you get these internet personalities. Everybody wants to put they put on the makeup. They I'm this, I'm that, man. And then you find them they on the sugar daddy website, and it's like yeah, yeah, right. you are a clown. Yeah, they get it. yeah, they get bust, they get busted out. Yeah, and then, you know. It's, so you can't explain it. Yeah, you could dig in my background. You could I, yeah, any okay. anything that happens, I talk about it because you're not going you're not going to use my but the fact that I make mistakes and I'm a human being as a as a um as leverage to kind of to to kind of leverage me or to move me in any way. So, man, I appreciate your call, bro. All right? Yes, yes sir. Uh, hey, you know what I had a, I had a quick question. Yeah, um, yeah. Now that I think about it. Um, because you know, I drive for a living, so I do a lot of like listening to shit on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. And uh, are you familiar with a dude named Tariq Nasheed? Yeah, I know. I, I, I know Tariq. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because um, yeah, because I think I think he may precede you guys a little bit in terms of um, because I think he had a book. He wrote a he wrote a book. Like yeah, in Tariq was a, like that. Tariq was a, was a Mac or a pimp before he became a. Before he yeah, became yeah. a, um, you know, a, a, a Black History dude, which I mean, yeah. com- I'm, it's commendable. I, I, I like the, the the move that he was going into. You know, the fact that he's, you know, that he's holding holding the establishment uh, responsible. But I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I've reached out to him a couple of times, but I I also am in a situation where I'm not a person who. Like you gonna if if if, if uh, here's here's something I tell you put it like this because I don't know him personally, so I'm not yeah. gonna pass comment. But uh, my honesty sharpens your truth. Mm-hmm. I am so honest that if you are full of shit, there's two things gonna happen. You're either gonna get exposed, or, mm-hmm. or you gonna leave me the fuck alone. Right. <laughs> if you got two dudes that are full of shit and they both full of shit, shout out to DJ Envy. <laughs> 
<laughs> and that, when you got two right. dudes full of shit, you you, cl- you you know that's clown ass shit. But you're full of shit. I'm full of shit. And then what we do is we both we both are in a situation where you don't pull the wool off of me, and I don't pull the wool off of you. Right, so we it's action, and we 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 do this dinner theater all day, and then I don't expect, but I'm not, I'm I'm just not that dude. So if you you you're not righteous, dog, I, you gonna get exposed fucking with me. So, but I appreciate you. Nobody nobody gains anything. Yeah, I mean, you know, or, or we, we you know it's it's dinner theater. You know what I mean? And everybody's buying a ticket. I'm good. Yeah, that's right. All right, bro. I respect that. Appreciate right, you. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.